good morning to one and all let's start our session today we are going to discuss uh, what are the different short answers come across in a btp subject that to electrical point of view the first definition ohm's law at constant temperature v is directly related to i and the formula here is v equal to r from that i equal to v by r we are having some power formula p equal to vi we are having some different formulas here v square by r i square r and these are the voltage and current equations these are the different uh, passive elements resistor inductor this one is a resistor inductor capacitor and these are the different voltage equations and current equations for resistor inductor and capacitor the main behavior of inductor here is which stores energy and magnetic field that one is uh, equal to half l square capacitor which stores energy and electric field half cv square these are the different sources voltage source and current source are two independent these are the independent voltage and current source and these are the dependent sources which is uh, represented in diamond shape or rhombus shape like this coming to kirchhoff's laws kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law sigma e equal to 0 sigma p e equal to 0 and we are having some uh, for the part of kvl you are uh, having some closed path and this one is junction or node What's the sigma here is algebraic summation. It derives from law of conservation of energy, and this comes from law of conservation of charge. These are the series and parallel. In series, uh, let it be two resistors or uh, inductors connected in series. We are having some formula here is just the summation, whereas this one reciprocals. And this one is one upon c equivalent, and this one is c equivalent like this. These are the mesh analysis. in this particular one we are having some two meshes we just have to solve this equations like this how many meshes you are having that many equations we are asked here and we have just want to solve those two one ones here as two currents i1 and i2 with the help of mesh equations and you may follow some equation part of you here as kirchhoff's voltage law in combination to ohm's law in a similar fashion nodal analysis we may use at some uh, kirchhoff's current law in combination to ohm's law i equal to v by r have a look coming to ac wave forms we are having some uh, first wave form is uh, dc there is no variation with respect to time this one will vary with respect to time this one is alternating and this one is pulsating we come across this particular one in reactive class frequency is number of cycles per second and the reciprocal of frequency will give us information of time period in this particular wave form the center uh, positive half and negative half will cover the things that may be called as time period the reciprocal of frequency will give us information of time period here how many cycles will cover within a duration of 1 second may be called as frequency peak value in this wave form observe this one is a peak value em peak to peak is nothing but positive peak to negative peak that particular one let it be this one is 2 and this one is 2 the peak to peak value here is 4 volts yeah we are having some other factors cross to peak factor it's a ratio of peak value to rms value and for the sinusoidal it's a fixed value here is 1.414 for the farm factor it's 1.11 these two are ratios there are no units for this particular factors This one is a power triangle. We are having some three parts here: active power P, reactive power Q, and this one is S. This one is active power P, and this one is reactive power Q, and this one is total power S. And the units for this part only are volt amperes. This one is volt ampere reactive, and this one is kilowatts. From that, uh, we just derive the things of uh, power factor. It's obviously maybe call it as cos factor. it's an angle in between the things of voltage and current also these are the different formulas for power factor remember these formulas that it may be helpful for uh, short answers these are the different phase of diagrams pure resistor pure inductor pure capacitor in pure resistor voltage and current are in phase there is no angle no cos zero it becomes one that's a power factor whereas in l voltage leads current V I L na voltage leads current. 
whereas this one current leads voltage in pure capacitor. Yeah, these are the phasor representation is nothing but we just want to make it a line segments. With the help of line segments, we just want to use voltage and current relationships. It's a formula here, right? We just remember select. Coming to the superposition theorem statement, in any linear active bilateral network, the response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of responses caused by individual sources acting alone and the remaining sources are in deactivation. That is, voltage to zero means short circuit, current to zero means open circuit. And remember one thing, it's not applicable for power calculations. Power is a non-linear quantity. Coming to the unit 2, it's a DC machine. We are having some generator, motor, transform. Generator, it will only have some principle here as Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction E equal to minus N D5 by DT. E induced EMF, N number of turns, phi flux. Lorentz force law, F equal to Bell's sine theta or torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Transformer works on the principle of mutual induction. The energy which converts mechanical to electrical may be called as generator. Fleming's right hand rule is for the direction of this induced EMS. Which converts electrical to mechanical may be called it as motor. It is uh, due to the Fleming's left hand rule. Commutator which converts AC to DC or uh, DC to AC. Brushes uh, are made up of carbon material. Brushes are made up of uh, some carbon material. In order to transfer that electrical energy output, we may use these brushes, two brushes. Step up and step down transformers here right now. If V2 is greater uh, than V1, that may be called as uh, step up. V2 is less than V1, that may be called as step down. Or else we, can, we may draw some diagrams maybe like this. Observe these two things. Yeah, the number of turns here, N1, N2. This one is N1, N2. Or else with the help of number of turns also, we can decide. Higher turns to lower turns, no? Up to down. That's a step down. Low to high. That's a step up. That's it. These are the representations. AC generator also works in the Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction. Just remove that commutator. Remaining everything is common. These are the different applications. Make sure that these applications, uh, we can use it in our uh, fans, blowers, center fugal and reciprocal compounds, lake machines. So in uh, everywhere, we can use these machines. But uh, different machines, different applications wise. Yeah, go through these applications. We can use it in fans, blowers, uh, elevators, heavy planers, shears, everything, everywhere. These are the different other applications here. We can use it in our clamps, booster, uh, and we can have some current generator, everything. Everywhere we can use it these uh, different uh, machines, different applications. Coming to the transformers, we can use it step up or step down, or else we can use it as a frequency selective circuits. Whereas coming to the three phase induction motor, we can use it in lifts, cranes, host. Yeah, go through these uh, different applications. Coming to the different measuring instruments here, in order to go for uh, AC supply and DC supply, we are having some uh, two different instruments here. PMMC is for DC supply. For the AC as well as DC, we can use it moving iron. In that moving iron, we are having some attraction and repulsion. In order to measure resistance, we may go for uh, which temperature. These are the measuring instruments. In order to measure voltage, current, power, we may use this PMMC, whereas this one also we can use, uh, we have to measure some voltage and current. These are the different uh, comparison ways in between uh, MC and M. And don't forget the principles. Working principle here is magnetism, whereas this one here is, it's similar to DC motor. F equal to Bill sine theta. And in this one also, scale non-uniform, whereas this one is uniform. which can be used for measuring the medium range resistance. Coming to unit 3, renewable and non-renewable or else conventional and non-conventional. These are the different renewable energy sources and these are the different 
non renewable or fossil fuels nuclear oil coal comes under fossil whereas renewable solar wind this one by unit here is that's an uh, one kilowatt hour within a duration of one hour time how much energy of uh, how much uh, power we can consume that may be called it as one unit yeah we know that power is equal to work by time or else work or energy is equal to power into time the power units here is kilowatts and the time here is hour this may be called it as one unit the rate at which electrical energy the rate at which electrical energy the rate at which electrical energy is supplied to consumers i just want to supply this one to consumers that may be called it as tariff simple definition go through the two part tariff also these are the different uh, classification in between uh, mcbr fuse and don't forget mcb is an automatic whereas fuse is a every time you have to replace those two things coming to compact size uh, this one is a uh, mcb is nothing but miniature circuit breaker yeah these are the different comparisons electric shock is nothing but uh, only one line sudden discharge of electricity through a part of the body when a person comes in contact with electrical equipment yeah I think it's nothing but uh, it's not it's uh, instantaneous discharge of electrical energy takes place by transferring charges directly to a through a low resistance wire. Let it be this one is one man here. I just want to divert this particular with the help of some low resistance wire. That may be called it as we are having some perfect ethic. We are having some different ethics here: pipe ethics, plate ethics, and rod ethics, and. Uh, with the help of earthing, we can uh, pour all this uh, sand and we can have some uh, salt, we can have some coal material surrounding the part of uh, with the uh, help, sprinkling of water. That may be called it as uh, types of earthing. Yeah, thank you.